Strangers in the night Driving cars and parking them in the garage Next to column M Next to column M Okay, so this, why is this important? This sets the boundaries of the collapse at this point of the video uh, Of this point in time That there is no something we're not seeing in the dark over here Air is a vehicle, presents as a vehicle, it presents as the tires of the vehicle, turned out, tire or driver's side. It presents to me as the headlight, roof deck, um, bumper, and I can play around with this a bit more, go the other way, but every which way I play with it, it comes, presents as a car to me. What do you guys think? Does it present as a car to you? Ooh, that might be too far. Okay, so let me get you guys going again on, on, on sensors, camera sensors, and things like that, and disappearing columns. Well, the camera, it, they're pixels, and it depends on how they had it metered, set for metering. It, it metered on uh, red, RGB, RG green, RG, RGB, red, green, blues, and that's how you get your colors, and your lighting, your... Uh, it's all about lighting in the pixels, and if they don't see light, they don't, you know, there's nothing to register. So this registers, this is a single column. We know it's together, but watch what happens when I push the highlights on it. Ah, forget that. Highlights, I've got the wrong one. You see how it, it picks up only in that center there, and yet it's the same. Because this camera sensor saw this, these pixels took priority in the processor, the computer processor and the camera. And this one did not, even though they're in the same plane. It sees it differently because of the angle and all that. It saw that, what was in front of it first, and that would be these columns, right about the same plane. They're receiving more light, a reflection of something in the garage, perhaps. But they're receiving it equally, maybe a light to the right or here, and it's shining down, it's clipping this one and that one. Could be a street light. But they're receiving the data that way. Now there's that car again. And so let's go to shadows, shadows again. So shadows bring up the dark so if there's anything in those pixels, all it does is blow it out. And you're literally looking at a pixel right here. Look, look at the shape. And then right here, I want you to see the pixels. This pixel has to talk to this pixel, and this pixel talks to that one. And they, and they share per the computer processor. See the pixels? And they got to share to make up what they're, what they're trying to determine. And you can see the pixels here. Over here, there's nothing to share. So they can't see it. So they're like, okay, nothing to share. So they make a, the computer processor makes a blank pixel, uh, a black pixel, because there's no data from it. Over here, it sees uh, a darker contrast against that white background. So it is able to identify it more. Same bars up here against a white background. It identifies that it's thin, more, more proportionally thinner. It's not thinner; it's the same size, but the pixels got confused a bit. And you can see that how it gave it like a shade. Um, it's on a white background, um, so I like having the photography part. What's it called? Uh, color fringing. On the white backgrounds, often do that. They create a color fringing issue, and oh, when you have something in the foreground. So now, let's do this. What do I have here? Temperature, the car, dark, shadow, sepia. Let's go with sepia, and then let's go the other way, and back this way. Sometimes you can, you can get away with something, but I want you to see the pixels. The pixels, look at this pixel, how highlighted it is with a lot of data, and then this one's got a little less. Um, we won't even go into those pixels, they're just about the same. So just because you don't see the pixels doesn't mean they don't exist. So look what it did there. It sees, so this is telling me what the camera is, is, is censoring off of. Specifically here and here is what this camera, at this point of the, of the, of the shot, is what it's picking up off of. Let's go back this way. So I'm getting rid of some contrast. I'm going to knock down exposure a little bit. I need to bring in this color here. Let's see if I can bunch them together a bit. I'm removing them, removing them, removing, removing. Okay. Let's put them back. And let me 
shift this a little bit. So again, there's what it presents as the car, and your column is, so here's some pixels, right? And they're, they're boxed, oh, they're boxed and coming down like that. And these pixels are trying to blend in. They got something that's confusing them right there. These group of, of uh, two pixels across and coming down. So let's, let, we're trying to make the pixels, trying to make the particular pixels jump out at us. And that's too dark. And to do that, I need to I need those pixels to, to pixelate. And we can see they're not doing anything. They're saying these pixels are the same as that. It's just not bringing it in. So you've got a disappearing column. It's deal, dealing with this sensor of camera. A column is not disappeared. This is this is a, not a disappearing column. It is not registering with the little sensor in the camera in the cell phone. Right, let's go that direction. And let's go this way. Change the temperature a little bit. White balance. Right here is some grass, just so you know. I did find grass in here. Um, so it's definitely the, uh, um, the washing machine, as you guys call it. Let's go with exposure again. Contrast. So you see what happens there. It looks like it's a notch out of there. That's that letter C that's notching in there. Let's take the contrast all the way over and you'll see it line up again and now refine right about there. And so here and here are our highlights. Our highlights that are that are um, contrast right. That are and I can take it and it will go all the way down to that's as far as it goes. So they're the ones that the camera censored off of the most, and that that based the rest of the image on how, what it could do. And I'll try to push it a little bit, but you see what happens here. I'm starting pick, getting pixels that are now connecting to each other and, and, and looking like little teardrops. Let's go back to the square pixels, uh, see if we can pull them back up. So there's our square pixels, our pixels here. Literally, you see the pixels, right? If you just look at the image real good and blow it up, you'll see the pixels where they touch off on each other. And the computer tells which pixel what it thinks the next one should do and how they should fade each other in to make the same, the same look. There we go. So you can see all the pixels in here right now. Do, 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 do. And this is my pixel. These are my pixels. Mypixels.com. And going that far, you see the car still popping out. And so this steel grate in front hijacked our column, and the pixels, uh, and that's why they got vanished along with being at nighttime. And the highlights there hijacked our column, our column that's been disappeared. Now, if you want to know what that's like to do that, go to your screen and your put your camera at your um, a screen in your in your window or a fence, but a screen will work. And and start putting your camera closer and closer to the screen. As you go closer to the screen, I'm talking about screen in the window. First, you'll see the screen, and then as you get so close, the screen will disappear. And you, the screen's there, right? We know this. You know the screen is there. So at a distance, your screen may appear gone, but at some point, your screen's going to come in, and then it's going to vanish. It's going to come in. It's going to it's going to be not be there, and then all of a sudden, it's going to be there. And you're going to be looking through a screen. Now, I want you to do that zooming in also. And notice what happens when you zoom in through the screen. It's going to make your images look even worse than if you zoom in without the screen. Because that screen, the, the camera still sees part of that screen as interference. And it will try to uh, figure out what's going on. Because that screen acted as a filter over your lens. Well, this 
damn steel, this gate is acting like that screen, a filter over the lens, and it's, it's, it's giving it a lot of pixel stuff that it's trying to match up to make it stand out from the background and tie it together. And it needs some variances, like the, the hard contrast of this whitish looking product here. And that's why you have your disappearing column. But now we have an appearing car, automobile, right here. This so again, bounders, boundaries are, are a failure between M and over to, your, uh, to the left, right, towards KLM. So this car is showing nothing's compressed it or broken on it, dropped on it at this point, at least up to this point, once you find a parking spot. Um, it shows that, uh, that there, this, this is limited, the drape, the original failure has limited itself to right over, probably right by the construction joint. It's on the deck, not, not inside, the, not inside uh, the, the property building yet, but on the deck. And that also gives you a disappearing column, pixels. Pixels, baby. And the screen effect, if you think of that. Take care. Bye. Oh, yeah. I should be a little slower on the take care buys. It seemed like I just jump out and you guys are like, hey, that was cold. All right, so look, one, two, three, I'm out of here. Bye.